Napoleon Bonaparte appointed a total of 26 individuals as marshals of the French Empire during his rule. These marshals were among his most trusted and skilled military commanders, and they played significant roles in his various military campaigns. Three French marshals were virtually never defeated in battle, and we'll all make this ranking. Before we begin, a quick reminder. This ranking is based on a marshal's capability in both military and administrative affairs, as well as his skill for individual command. Coming in as the fifth best French marshal is Nicolas Jean de Dieu Soult. Soult, also known as the Duke of Dalmatia, was one of Napoleon's most prominent marshals. Soult was known for his skills in defensive warfare. He held his ground in several battles, like at Rolicha or Oporto, earning a reputation as a skilled defensive tactician. He was also one of the harshest military commanders of the time. In fact, even Napoleon thought that Soult went a little too far when training and preparing his men for combat. Soult is respected for his prominent role during the Battle of Austerlitz, which ended in a brilliant victory. The defeat, which he suffered at Salamanca, are one of the few factors that diminish his military career. The fourth sport goes to Jan Lanz, who was also one of Napoleon's closest friends. Marshal Lannis was considered undefeated in battle and was without a doubt one of the most reliable commanders of the French army. The former rifleman already served General Bonaparte during the Italy campaign in 1796. He distinguished himself as a highly capable commander, known for his bravery that he showed on occasions like at the Siege of Regensburg. Lannis died during the Battle of Aspern in 1809, which ironically, would have been the first major defeat he was involved in. Napoleon is said to have cried at this deathbed. The third spot goes to Masséna, who was already an established French commander before the little corporal took over. Masséna gained early recognition for his role in the successful siege of Toulon in 1793. His leadership and tactical abilities played a crucial part in capturing the city from royalist forces. He also played a key role in the French invasion of Switzerland, 1799, and the subsequent victory at the First Battle of Zurich. Masséna is also often credited for his role during the Battle of Wagram, 1809, as well as his part in the early stages of the Peninsula War. However, similar to Soult, Masséna also suffered defeats in Spain. On number two, we have Gabriel Suchet, who Napoleon later called his best general. Suchet was one of the few fit for individual command. He was respected both by friends and foes. Suchet was appointed as commander in the Spanish theater during the Peninsular War. He conducted a successful and highly effective campaign in eastern Spain, capturing a series of fortresses and regions. Tortosa and Valencia both fell by his hands. Apart from his military successes, Suchet is remembered for his effective administration in the regions under his control. He implemented reforms, improved local governance, and earned a reputation for being a just and enlightened ruler. Marshal Suchet was even tasked to defend southern France during the 100 Days Campaign. And lastly, the first spot goes to Louis-Nicolas Davout. Marshal Davout, also known as the Iron Marshal, had a distinguished military career with several notable feats. Davout's remarkable leadership and defensive skills led to a French victory over a numerically superior Prussian army at Auerstedt, a key battle during the War of the Fourth Coalition. The Iron Marshal also played a pivotal role in the campaign in Poland, where his strategic brilliance contributed to French victories, including the Battle of Ilau. Davu was later entrusted with the administration of the Duchy of Warsaw, a French client state where he implemented reforms and maintained stability. He successfully held the city of Hamburg, even when the war was already lost and only surrendered after the capitulation and abdication of the emperor. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more.